Hey, Peter. Yes. How's your core? Oh, it's good. Strong. Been doing a lot of yoga lately. I've got four cores, actually. I'm Adam Manis. And I'm Peter Martin. You're listening to the You'll Hear It podcast. Daily jazz advice coming at you. You're saying you got a four pack? Is that what you're saying? I got a four pack. Yeah. I'm working on a six pack and then an eight pack. How, what's the total pack? I, I, I've to seen have? like eight, I think. Eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be there. Not, not in pack. person. Never in person. No, no. Uh, so today we're talking about our four core principles. Before we do, though, let's yes. mention our sponsor. This month's sponsor is the great Sound Slice. It's one of my four principles. Oh, it's being my number one principle. Sound Slice. We, we use Sound Slice every day at the You'll Hear It podcast and at Open Studio. Uh, it's an incredible tool for transcribing and for linking up that transcription with videos. There's a great community where people have transcribed masters like Wayne Shorter and yep. Herbie Hancock and yep. Bud Powell and anybody you could think Wes of. Wes Montgomery. Go check it out. A yep. uh, lot of great stuff. Very useful tool. Thank you to SoundSlice. SoundSlice.com. Uh, so today we are talking about sit-ups. No, uh, <laughs> we are talking about four core principles for learning jazz. Yes, piano. And, well, yeah, or any jazz. Or but, any jazz, But right. specifically here, piano, because we're talking about a brand new course that got released like today today if we time this out correctly it's happening today it's called jazz piano jumpstart it's for uh the novice jazz pianist right the neophyte the neophyte and it's really a course designed to sort of get them uh up we said like couch to the bandstand couch right. to the stage exactly yeah yeah uh which might be overshooting it a little bit well, no, overshooting it would be say they they go from couch to five K with this program because this has nothing to do with running. But uh, well, what I wanted to call it, what I wanted to say was seven weeks to jazz mastery. But our lawyers said we could not say that because yeah, that's impossible. No, no. But this will really get you to where you're starting to hear jazz. You can play a little bit. You're ready for jazz panel for beginners, for example, our, an, another course that we have. Um, but if you have just the most basic of piano skills, we think we might have hit on something fun and nice. And it's very. Uh, uh, guided, you know, like we're yeah. kind of holding your hands, both of us. We have actually one of the features of the course is guided practice routines where right. I will practice with you and tell you exactly what to practice to get you up. How are you going to go to all those people's houses? I'm not. It's a okay. video, man. Okay. But anyway, go check it out. We're going to put the link to uh, to the page there for Jazz Piano Jumpstart. Go check it out. But what we're talking about today is is the four core principles that you and I came up with for this course. Yeah. Uh, and we thought they were so compelling, so ridiculously brilliant. We didn't think they were so compelling. They are so compelling. Come on, man. That we decided to do a whole episode on them. Um, and these really, you know, we this is a Jazz Piano course, obviously, but these apply to learning pretty much anything, not even just Jazz. Yes, but just anything that you're going to learn. Right. You know, chess, French. Yes. Uh, these will help. Yep. Um, so let's talk about number one. Okay. Um, let me pull it up here. I should have known it. Oh, listen, of course. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, listen. surprise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is, look, we, we, we joke about it because we love it. And um, this, you know, a lot of times when you're starting out something, uh, when you're at that beginner level, for some reason, this is sort of a core principle that's skipped over. And I think that that's so unfortunate because it's actually the most developed part of our musicality when we're at that beginner, neophyte, novice By level far. already. Yeah. Because we've been listening all our life. We might not have been playing piano all our life, but we've been listening to something. Sounds, words, yeah. hopefully some good music yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So we always, like, that's one area that we have more developed than we think. So if we can kind of focus in on that, take advantage of that, leverage that for our learning, just like learning any other language, you know, listening. I mean, how much better if you're starting to learn a foreign language and you've already been listening to it? Yeah. No, it's great, but I, I love what you just said. I was thinking the same thing. It's all about learning how to learn from listening. You know what I mean? It's it's how to take that tool of listening to music and how to learn things from it that yes. we can apply to our music. Yeah. Uh, and it's by far the most crucial skill you can develop. I get a lot of emails about like, hey, could I get the sheet music for this or whatever? And it's like, right. just listen. You just listen. listen to it. Right. You're going to get so much more out of it. Yeah, and I mean, I think it's also, I mean, all these to me are fun, but some some of these are gonna people are gonna be like, Ugh. but this one is like fun always at all levels, um, and whether you're listening to great recordings, listening to live music, listening to yourself, listening yeah. to your friends, and I mean this can be applied in so many different situations. Everybody likes to talk, but what about a little listening? That's it's right. not gonna kill you, is it? In a conversation, it is not. I'm talking to you. Oh, I would never no. listen to you, really. <laughs> uh, number two, I think this is uh, this is almost like one. This could be like tied for one as yeah. far as the importance of actually being able to learn something like yeah. jazz piano. 
um, and to be able to grow at any stage of your growth yeah. requires this. This is patience. Yes. And it's so important to remember that if we're really in it, if we really love music, if we really want to learn more and we really want to grow, if we want to have that growth, we have to develop a sense of patience. We have to yeah. develop the sense that we don't have to practice everything at one session, that we don't have to become uh, Chick Corea or Brad Meldow by next week, that we have the rest of our lives to work on this, to fall in love with the process, to realize yes. that the results are not as important as putting in the work. Yeah, and I think that this area of patience is something that really ties together the jazz world and the medical world. Like when, when doctors and medical... You always go to the, the surgeon. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Well, no, but when a good surgeon or a medical facility focuses on the patients instead of just on the doctors and the nurses, how much better does that operation... No? It's not that I'm, kind of patient. It's not that kind. Did I read that wrong? Oh, patience, this patience. kind. I should have been more patient. Wow. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, this, this is truly... Um, <laughs> Well, it comes back to the thing of like, you know, you mentioned, you know, we can't be we, we it's not even that we can't be Chick Corea tomorrow. Like if we could become Chick, if we could give you a secret jump start to becoming Chick Corea in one day. Yeah. What what does that mean about Chick Corea? It's and worthless. Like, exactly. It's absolutely worthless. So like not only be patient, but like revel in it and like enjoy the journey. That's right. You know, and first of all, we're not even asking for that much patience with this seven weeks. Come on. Yeah. That for this course. Thing, yeah. <laughs> but but even if you don't have it in seven weeks, realize that it's like it's not a it's not a, a sprint. It's a marathon. Yeah. Right. And but the, but the journey of, of learning the music and, and we talk to so many people that so fun for us to, to see people as they go through our courses that if you kind of put on the right mindset from the beginning, you can have a lot of fun as you move through this oh, patiently. Totally. You know, if you try to rush through, it's not as fun because this is a, I mean, this is a deep, valuable kind of skill that you're developing and you Absolutely. don't want, you don't want to, even if you could rush through it, why would you do that? Yeah. I hope at the end of seven weeks for this course that people aren't, you know, jazz piano masters, but that they've sort of laid the foundation for those skills yeah. that can help them for the rest of their lives Absolutely. In, in learning this great. And music. then how are they going to do that? That takes us to number three. Number three, uh, a crucial part of this is routine mm -hmm. developing a routine whether that's a practice routine whether that's a thought routine uh, whether that's a physical routine to get you ready all of these things are something that that world-class musicians have and use to their advantage and so the quicker that you're able to develop a routine for your lifestyle for how you want to learn for the growth you want uh, the better you're gonna get I've talked about this before for me I come in uh, here about an hour and a half before I get here at open studio to start my work day. I go across the street to my studio. I practice the piano. It's my little routine. It keeps me fresh. It keeps me able to work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that kind of thing works for me just in my current life setup. Yeah. You have a different routine. Like everybody has their own thing. The, yep. the key though is to find the routine because if you don't have it, you're going to be scrambling to try to get that time in. Yeah, I agree. I ditto all that and actually stick around for our ultimate tip hey now. on the four core, core, related to the four core principles for learning jazz because it's actually gonna be very much related to this routine. So stay till the end for that one. It's a fun one. Okay, so what's our fourth core, our fourth pillar of learning jazz? Piano? The fourth core of our eight, eight pack of our stomach core oh is uh, feedback. Now, feedback, <laughs> exactly. We, we chose this because there was feedback coming through our headphones as we wrote the course. No, we, we both agreed on this. And look, we had a bunch of other, in, we're not saying these are the only important things, but these are the core ones. These are the ones that we felt like if you wrap these around everything that yeah. you do, you could really make sustained and, and, and deep growth if every day. If you get these, day. only these four things together, you got a lot. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot, I mean, a lifetime to be able to apply these to places. Totally. But number four is feedback. And the reason we thought this was so, we know that this is so important is because it can be applied in so many different ways and it aids in all the other ones and in our development in general. So we've got, you know, the feedback that we can give ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, which is probably the most important because we're going to be spending the most time with ourselves in our life yeah. as in all the time. As in all the time. When you're, when you're learning, when you're working on this stuff, when you're trying to grow, uh, make sure to record yourself and then have an honest, yeah, on your phone, whatever you got, have an honest uh, feedback session listening to yourself. I like to wait a day after so that it's not fresh, so that I'm hearing it with kind of yeah. new ears. Yeah, fresh ears. And don't beat yourself up and then and don't congratulate yourself. Just be totally honest. Whatever you hear that stoic. you Stoic. Adopt a stoic mentality. Have your, uh, have your notepad there with you. Whatever you don't right. like your that you Bujo. hear. <laughs> make a note of yeah. and that's something that you can then practice in your next session there's no better way to get better 
also get a good teacher, yeah. someone that can be honest with you. For me, I like a teacher who's direct yeah. and not patting me on the back, but I want someone who's like, you shouldn't be doing that. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Um, and then, you know, for some of us, we get direct feedback from an audience and that's always fun as well. Yeah, but yeah. that's as important as anything else, I think. I think so. I mean, I think actually everybody gets that if you're playing for your spouse, for your friend or whatever, and you should do that. It's not just about, yeah, you if you have access to a, a teacher that knows jazz piano, jazz sax, well, you know, whatever it is you're studying, that's always great. But we all have an opportunity and we all should remain humble to get feedback from non-musicians and non-specialists because we are playing music for, we, we're not only playing for ourselves and for other musicians, hopefully. So the feedback that you get, it, it actually is a different kind of feedback. Yeah, you're not gonna go to a non-pianist and say, give me some feedback on how my fingering is because they're not gonna know what they're talking about. But give me a, get, how about, like give me some feedback, like guide them a little bit. Mm. Give me some feedback on what, what this emotionally felt like when I played this solo. Give me some feedback on the feeling of the groove when I played solo piano. Give me the feed feedback on, am I playing my drums too loud? Give me the feedback on, does it sound in tune? I don't know what that is. Well, no, does it sound, you know? Yeah. I mean, the layman or laywoman's uh, opinion is not only matters, it's important. Yeah. It's important. So that there's a great opportunity for feedback there. And don't just treat the feedback as, as noise. You yeah. Know, you ask for it and then ignore it. Exactly. That's fine. But uh, you can use that information to make yourself better. Yeah. You don't know? just use it to validate what you already think. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to don't, don't cherry pick. And some and sometimes feedback isn't someone telling you, hey, that sounds good or that doesn't. Sometimes right. it's like, OK, well, nobody's calling me for any gigs. Right. right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's there's that's feedback on something, either how you're playing or acting or something. So maybe time to self-evaluate on those kinds of things or. Yeah. Or wow, when I do this, everybody goes crazy. You right. Know? Sorry, I just I just made a note for a future episode. I had an idea. Oh, okay. I was giving myself some feedback. That's perfect. That's exactly <laughs> what we're talking about. Okay. So before we get to our ultimate tip, don't forget to go to soundslice.com slash transcribe. Yes. Man, I love these four four core principles. They're great, the man. Um so before we do the ultimate tip, let's just recap here. Listen is number one, patience is number two, routine is number three. And feedback is number four. Yeah, okay. and we think they're all important, but this order is kind of for a reason. And I think that you'll see it's almost like chronological, you know, um, but we're applying these all kind of continually to all the different things. And they all work together they is do. the idea. They and do. what we really wanted to do, especially at that beginner level, but hopefully we have this mindset for, for all the different levels that we're at, is is take these core principles and really simplify like these are supposed to be very simplified so that you can apply them just kind of on the fly to everything you're doing and yeah. be like okay hold on a second let me how do which one do i need to apply in this situation i'm a little bit frustrated here it's not quite coming the way i want to do so that would be sort of patience but then what can we do with our routine that's right to kind of you know to kind of fix that and you know what if you want to check out uh this course the jazz piano jump start with yes. all these uh these seven weeks uh, it's fairly reasonably priced. It's very reasonably priced. I think we are we, are we going to do a special for the you'll hear listeners for this uh, week? maybe later. But right now we're gonna it's just launch, man. Come on. Okay, okay, yeah, we're, yeah. we're just launching. Uh, but you can go to the 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 Jazz Piano Jumpstart page there. Andrew's going to put a link to that page here in the description, so you can go check that out. We got got a ton of stuff. Got practice routines. Got a ton of stuff. Yeah, on and it. it's on the new platform. Oh, we didn't even talk about that. This well, is kind no, of a major announcement. It's kind of a major. We're not we're not going to go deep into it. You're going to have to just discover it. Just enjoy the speed check out the link. of this course. Yeah, this the is speed. this is the beginning of a great new day for open at the new platform, but you can check it out there. And you know, I think we, now that I mentioned it, we have to do a little bit of a special. We got to treat our listeners right, man. Come on. You want to do $7 off? Let's do, Ooh, wow. That's well, it's it's so well priced already. Yeah. So it's $77. How about $10 course. off? Let's do $10. $67. That's, that's, that's a good. number we've never once said on this podcast. Well, why don't we do $10 off, but only for the rest of this week? Okay. How about that? Okay. This week, $67 jazz piano jumpstart. If you're a bass player, if you're a saxophone player, you want to learn a little bit about jazz piano. Here's where you start. Yeah, so we're gonna call that um, uh, J. What do JPJ ten? How about that? JPJ ten. Jumps uh, jazz piano jump start ten dollars. So JPJ ten. Put offer code uh, on the checkout page in, and you'll get ten dollars off. Love it. Do we ready for the ultimate tip here? What is it? Um, I don't know. What did I say it was gonna be? Oh, I know what this was. Okay, so uh, number three. I love how prepared we are. <laughs> well, I mean, I got it here, but I, I got it off on a tangent. I'll be giving ten dollars around. You get ten dollars. You get ten dollars. You get ten dollars. Throwing ten bucks. Um, okay. So the ultimate tip about these things, I was focusing in on routine, right? Number three, 
And I think if you think about routine, I mean, we all know what a routine is, but it's not always as easy as like what you said. You're like, you go over here, you practice, then you come over. The reason that that's a routine for you is you've developed a habit. Yeah. That's really what a routine is. Like, and you know, we've talked before. We, I think we had some things about habits on here. We mm -hmm. can go deep on another episode, but the idea that you need to repeat, you know, a routine, we're talking about a positive behavior. So we all have habits, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, we're talking about some positive routines that we get in that are really habitual. Yeah. You know, so once you develop a routine, don't just think, oh, I've got the routine. Now it's magically happened. You need to repeat that. You need to turn it into a habit. So you need to do all the things that you would do for a good or a bad habit um, and kind of rewards and all the different structures that are associated with those habits. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it too, man. Uh, so Jazz Piano Jump Starts Congrats man It's a nice little yeah, thing I think we came up yeah, Excited good. to see What everyone thinks So remember $10 off Go this week To uh, JPJ10 Is the JPJ10. code JPJ10 See the link below Oh we can say The new platform Now let's do it Let's announce it right now Can we do it Let's do it OpenStudioJazz.com Go check it out Go check it out Until tomorrow You'll hear it